Okay, we're about to make things move inside of the envelope of the mill, so let's take a moment to understand what's going to move, what direction it's going to go in, how far it's going to go, and are we comfortable with the movement that's about to happen. To do this, let's look at the key words in this statement. Axes zeroed through power up. The first word is axes. What are they and how many are there? We'll take a look inside the mill. The first two axes are the X and Y axis. Movement on the X and Y axis means that the entire table is going to move. The servo motors that power the table movement are extremely powerful, which is why this warning sticker is here showing a hand being crushed between two gears. It's why we're gonna take care to have all parts of our bodies outside of the mill envelope when any sort of high-speed movement is happening. And it's also why we're going to take a moment to make sure that no equipment or material is hanging so far over the edge of the table that it's at risk of punching through the sidewall of the mill when the table moves. Look at this vise. It's hanging out over the edge of the table. And with a tape measure, I can see that it's hanging out six inches over the edge. I put the vise on the table and I confirmed that it had clearance at six inches. So let's establish the rule that nothing on our table can hang out over the front of the table by more than six inches. If you put the handle of the vise on and then forget it, then you've broken the rule because the handle of the vise now hangs off the front by more than six inches. Here it's seven inches and that's far enough to crash into the door, destroying it. After using the vise handle, it's critical to stow it back on the hook where it belongs, outside of the envelope of the mill. Same with the left-hand side of the table. If anything is extending further than this snurgly hose, consider that a pretty severe risk. Same with the back of the table. If anything is hanging off the back of the table further than these pneumatic airlines, then you're at risk of crashing into the back of the mill. And same on the right-hand side. Anything further than this pneumatic air closer, and you're at risk of crashing through the side window here. And if all this talk of crashing makes you a little bit nervous, that's good. A little bit nervous keeps you attentive and aware, and it demands that you use your strategy, which at the beginning should always be to ask for help and to compare the answer of your helper to your own guess. So do that now. Make a guess and then ask the helper nearby to look at the table and confirm that you are good to power up. Once they say you're good to go, let's mention the last two axes. The Z axis is here, completely separate from the table. It's called the spindle. It also happens to hold all of our cutting tools. The Z axis goes up and down. And the fourth axis, the fourth axis is this unit right here. It's a rotary unit that gives you rotational ability about the X axis, and it's called the A axis. When you hit power up, all four axes are going to go home. The Z axis, the spindle, is gonna head to zero. Physically, you'll see it go up. The x-axis is going to travel to zero, which is going to look like the table heading left. The y-axis is going to zero, which will look like the table moving towards you. And the a-axis is going to go home too, to zero degrees of rotation, which probably won't look like much of anything at all but we'll take a moment's time. And please know that I hesitate to share any of this at this moment in time because I don't want to scare you off with an onslaught of information. That's not the goal here. I want to start naming some of these things, and I want to remind you that your only real job is to haul the helper over one more time, whether it's me, a teaching assistant, another instructor, anybody with experience, haul them over and say, am I good to push this button? and then push the button and watch what happens and start learning the names of things. Here we go, let's answer those questions. What will move? The x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis, and the a-axis. What direction will it move in? The x is gonna go left. The y is gonna come towards me. The z-axis is gonna move up. The a-axis is gonna rotate a little bit. I might not even see it. How far will it go? Well, for the x-axis, no farther than the snurgly hose. For the y-axis, 
no farther forward than the leading edge of the vise. And for the z-axis, it's going to go up and away to a nice safe spot. Am I comfortable with all that movement? The honest answer as a beginner is probably no, so just ask the helper if they're comfortable with all the movement. And when they say, go for it, kid, then push the button. Get your finger on the button, but don't push it yet until you're looking into the mill. Close the door if you haven't already, then push the button. Watch the z-axis go up. Watch how the table moves X and Y at the same time. Y got there first, now X is getting there. Notice why we don't want anything hanging even further off the table. That compressed air sound marks the end of the power up, and look at that, a green check mark next to axes zeroed through power up. The machine is now ready to run. The light at the top of the mill is now flashing green. Congratulations, you have powered up the mill.